An alumni mill project in eastern Kentucky is still experiencing some challenges. Last week, legislators spoke with representatives on their lack of progress. 13 News reporter Lane Ball joins us in the Huntington studio with the details. Lane. Well, formerly known as Brady Industries, Unity Aluminum representatives say they're still pushing forward, while those who live in the area say they're not getting their hopes up. The city of Ashland, Kentucky has a slogan, a proud past, a bright future. Many in the area were hoping the addition of a new aluminum mill would be part of that future. But after several delays due to a lack of funding as well as other issues, the project is still an empty field. In 2017, the state of Kentucky invested $15 million on a proposed $1.7 billion Brady Industries, now Unity, aluminum mill. Representatives appeared before an interim joint appropriations and revenue committee last Friday to answer questions on the project. Unity Aluminum Vice President Nate Haney spoke saying, We are very encouraged right now. We are cautiously confident that a, a, a roller coaster ride. Uh, over the last couple of years. After several questions from senators and House members regarding their operations, Senator Christian McDaniel said he wanted to cut to the chase, asking this question. Why don't you repay your $15 million to the state? Vice President Nate Haney responded saying, that's a question he couldn't answer. To which Senator McDaniel replied, I will be very direct to you and to the public. I will be filing a bill this year that demands your repayment. Um, of these incentives. Now we spoke with residents here in Ashland, Kentucky, and what we found was there were mixed feelings on this subject. Some say they agree with the legislators. We're a little frustrated with the uh, uh, lack of uh, follow through. But others say they're staying hopeful. I would be very happy to see them come to fruition and come to our area. I do think it would be just a great thing if it eventually gets to happen. Haney also mentioned they will not be releasing any information on fundraising efforts and they are not planning on asking for another project extension in March. In Huntington, Lane Ball, 13 News, working for you.